89 V-Rock in the ground. That was a double shot of Pantera. And you know what amazes me is I'm a huge Pantera fan, Machine Head fan. They're probably like my two all-time favorite bands. And uh, somebody called me up and said, dude, man, um, I'm a big Pantera fan. And can you tell me what song you just played? And I said, sure. It's called The Sleep. And they said, what, what album is that from? Hmm. A big Pantera fan and they don't know what album that's from? Their first one? 
So there you go, sir. That that's for you to let you know that it's off the very first CD, which has Cowboys from Hell and quite a bit, quite a bit of other great tunes on this CD, Cowboys from Hell. So uh, now you have it, and, and, and hopefully you won't have to call me again and ask me what album that's off of. <laughs> Some people, I guess. All right, it's the bottom of the hour, and it's time for the Metal Matters Report for June 16th, 1998, presented to you by 88.9 V-Rock, and of course, you're surely on with the Metal News. Speaking of Pantera, the rumor has it Phil is calling it quits. Phil wants to leave and join the Spice Girls. Okay, so maybe I'm lying. Just joking. Ha, ha, ha. And uh, him and, see, Phil Osama and Marilyn Manson the other day were on MTV, and MTV was having this contest where, you know, it was be So You Want to Be a Spice Girl. And uh, Marilyn Manson and uh, Phil Osama and Pantera both tried out for the spot, and, of course, they didn't make it. Just, I don't know, something about them being maybe males and the fact that they were just joking around. So don't take it all seriously so everybody can relax. Pantera is not breaking up or anything like that, and neither is Marilyn Manson. So take a chill pill and relax. I want to give everybody a heart attack. Now let's get some serious news. Monkey see, monkey do, right? That's the case with Metallica. As a few months ago, James Hetfield's girlfriend had a baby girl, and now drummer Lars Ulrich and his girlfriend are expected their firstborn in the next few months. Metallica will be at Blossom on July 8th with special guests Jerry Cantrell in Days of the New. Nine Inch Nails next project seems to be pushed back more and more. The new expected date is November 17th. The record is tenantly titled Fragile. If you have the internet and you can connect with Yahoo.com, the band Seven Dust will have an online chat Thursday, June 18th at 7 p.m. Former Queen's Right guitarist Chris DeGarmo is on the road with Allison Chain's frontman Jerry Control. And remember, it has that when, when Metallica steps in here and they will play, like I said, Blossom on uh, July 8th to a sold out show. That uh, Chris DeGarmo will be helping out his best friend, Jerry Control. so you never know what's possible. Stone Temple Pilots singer and solo artist Scott Weiland could have a bench warrant out for his arrest as he skipped his court appearance in New York as he was arrested on June 1st for possession of heroin and having a hypodermic needle in his possession. See, the thing I can't figure out about Scott is he's been arrested like 9,000 different times and he's been put in the rehab. And it just amazes me. Don't you think the guy would learn? Hello? Is it the addiction that bad that you just have to have it all the time? Corn's new album, Follow the Leader, will hit stores on August 18th. But if you are in need of a new corn fix, you can. Log on to their webpage, corn.com, and hear two brand new tracks from the band. And a remix of one of the songs, Freak on the Lish. And uh, the other new song that you can hear is called, oh, probably, I can really speak tonight. It's called All on the Family, which is uh, co-written by Fred Durst of Lip Biscuit. Finally, the top three films last weekend's box office are as follows. Number three, A Perfect Murder with 11.2 million. Six Days and Seven Nights at 16 million from number two. And number one, The Truman Show with $21 million. This has been the Metal Matters Report for Tuesday, June 16th. You can email me at jd889 at judo.com. Remember, if you don't hear from me, it's all rumor. And just in case, if you heard me from the beginning, Pantera's not breaking up, so just relax. Up next, we have a tune from Clutch. The name of the tune is called Rats, only on the underground. 89 V-Rock, the underground. <laughs>
Special way you get me down 
officially, this is going out to the hippies for selling out and turning into yuppies and stealing all the money and doing all the drugs, having all the sex, spreading the disease, and then handing me the bill for your time has come. Underground. That was Negative Hippie from Tree, a uh, popular requested tune here tonight. Up next, we have a double shot of uh, the Deftones. We have uh, My Own Summer, track number one, Shove It, followed by Be Quiet and Drive Far Away. And uh, as I announced last week, with me being stupid and having the Deftones CD for quite a while, I'd say at least it came out. As soon as it came out, I got it. And uh, about a week ago, I'm just kind of listening to it, you know, and I uh, went to the end of the track, and all of a sudden it kept on continuing. And I thought, wait a minute, why is, why does it keep on playing? Yeah, there's a secret track on it, so there you know. Uh, just in case if you're just like me and you didn't know, if you go to, to the last track and when it's over, go to like the 34th minute and a new track plays, and it's about four minute song. It's pretty cool. You got to check it out. But I'll shut up and play those duff tones for you. 89 V-Rock, The Underground.
WSTB, Streetsboro. Just like the car ID said, this is 88.9 V Rock, the underground. And of course, if you got something you want to hear, you can give me a call at 626 5640. The fax line is the same number. Up next, I have Megadeth. Um, of course, they were appearing pretty, pretty soon in the Akron era. The exact date is July 14th for the Ozfest show with many, 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 many other bands, 16 altogether. 
And uh, I tell you what, if you don't have your tickets, you better get them quickly because this thing is going to sell out. We have Symphony of Destruction followed by Rage Against the Machine with the Year of the Boomerang going out to Sarah. And I'm supposed to say goodnight to her. So good night, go to bed, sweet dreams, all that, you know, hoopla stuff. And I'm supposed to say that, you know, I goofed up and I made it here and I apologize. 88.9 V-Rock, The Underground. Starts to rumble 